Strong with Fire, your home of learning and learning. I am Valerie, your neighbor of Hyatt Refugee Artists, and I'm joined with Hubby. Okay. And we are working on perspective. We're going to put in the light part of the Grand Canyon in the back, because I think that's going to help when you go to lay everything else in. Like tomorrow we'll start on the walls right here. So by laying in this lighter part, and it is much lighter, I meant to get a better photo. I zoomed in so you guys can see that this part is lighter, and we do have a bit of shadow here that's being cast in from this clip. <laughs> but we need to get this in, and that way it also tells our eye, okay, we stop here for what we're burning. There is clouds, whether you choose to put them in there or not. So I'm actually going to move this over so I can zoom in the camera and get it a little out of my face. And I did get the river basically laid in. There we go. Alright, so we're going to zoom in this way. Hey, Karen, Andrea, Spence, Ginny. Alright, so I've got my 18S on this little over two. And this is going to help a lot when I get to lay other stuff in. Even now, it's pretty hot. Alright, so I did not lay a lot of my lines down. I mean, I just need the main guys, but if you need more, absolutely do more. Nothing wrong with that. And we're not going to see as much detail in here. Oh. Sounds good now. No. Is everybody else on a problem? Uh, yep. Three people on the at the same time, so. <sighs> How better? We'll have to see in about yeah. 15 seconds. Is that 15 Let's seconds? Let's know if this fixes the problem, please. It will. I, I know why I did it. Oh, so okay. I know that. I know that. Meanwhile, we had, we already said hi to the, the first two, but we had Spence, Jenny, Andrea, Q-Man, Paragraph R. Mm -hmm. Hi, Q-Man. Um, yep. Here we yep. go. I was waiting for you guys to say it sounds okay. Yes. I know what it was. So. Oh, that's a mystery to me. <laughs> because I do all that stuff. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in even more. You're not getting the true color of the wood because this is Baltic birch, and so it is a little yellow. You're not getting the true colors? On the camera. So, so you off her would be very, very <laughs> Yes, she would. Alright, so what I'm doing is right here, we Hey, bro. Is everybody else having? Uh, still not yet. Cute spikes. Cute butt. Alright. Let me see. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. That was the main thing. I do not want to spend all of the life dealing with this. shows everything fine for me. So I'm not sure what's going on. I am not sure. Like talking to the fan, but worse. Hey, Steve.
because I'm not used to the mirror picking up. I, I, I turned off the camera once. Yeah. How about now, guys? Alrighty, how about now? No, no, no. Unless you're asking them, how about now? Can you hear me now? I swear, are we are in a damn cell phone commercial. <sighs> fan is back. There is no fan. Is it? Can you close the window? Yeah, I'm thinking, is it picking up all that ambient? <laughs> I feel like we're getting some kind of electronic interference from somewhere. <clears throat> Nothing I'm using is new. How about now? No. Because the fans are off. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was the window for outdoors. Who knew? There was nothing going on at the time, but okay. Let's go. Turn my fan back on. This happens to me. Um, Pin back on. Like all the time when the dogs are barking. Yeah. And I'm online. When the dogs bark, when Amber oh, barks. Oh, it cuts out. It cuts yeah. everything else out. All right. I will keep, we've had the fan up before. All right. So we are going to jump right in and hopefully we're not. <laughs> Burn fast. Burn fast. Oh, my goodness. All right. So what I'm using is I'm at a little over two with the 18S. I'm using just the tip and I'm dragging down. And what this is going to do is give me the but. look of the cliff in the background. I want it to go lighter. And so I'm trying to follow and dra drag down. Okay, you're doing that on purpose. As if today has I'm not seen my vampire powers. <laughs> so dragging down, just blocking in a little bit of that texture that is not going to be very well defined. I'm having to be up close. Oh, okay. Well, what? Andrea Tolbert is a member. <gasps> Welcome. We got our first member. She is number one. Number one. <laughs> I was going to talk about that at the end of the stream. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So now you get to be Jason for a month. And I shall explain all. <laughs> I had actually had forgotten I was going to explain it. I get so frazzled with the audio. <sighs> now that's just the dog being a rat. All right. So we're going to drag down just using the tip. And remember, we can always darken anything up. So if you want it darker later. So I'm gonna I'm gonna <sighs> Do my job. Do your job. So we're just going to drag down. And then in some places, we want to go over and just kind of get some of the texture of the cliff without any real definition. But we want it in there so that our brains say, ah, it's a cliff it's in the Grand Canyon. And it's going to be going back and forth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, Jenny, we got two. Now I get another gift. Oh, you have special gifts now, too, guys. You got special gifts. And this will definitely help support the channel. I appreciate it so much. Alrighty. I should have had more of a party set up for you guys. We are going to just go back and forth. We're just blocking it in. This area is not going to be dark. It looks dark even in our photo because we can see it. But once all this other stuff is in, it is going to look lighter. So <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you. <sighs> I wasn't sure. I hadn't announced it yet. So I wasn't sure if anybody was going to do it. Right here, I'm actually using the flat of the pen and dragging down in the direction of our 
our slope, because we've got to get our slope in. Let's see, we also have, and I'm looking at smaller pictures, which is good actually, because we're not going to see a whole lot of detail here. We have two embers. Ooh, okay. We got two embers. Welcome, welcome. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Jenny. Yep. We got two. Awesome. Yep. So we're just gonna drag this in. I'm going with the direction. There's a couple lines. And uh, Burl. Hey, Burl. We got three embers. So now, um. In your cat, let me see how it looks. Yeah, you better talk. It's it's getting out of control. <laughs> Let's see here. We have we custom. We have custom emoji. Yes. So hit your little smiley face button for your chat. And you've got special uh, emojis. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more. These were just the basics. So I'd have something in. So let's get this in here. This area is a little darker. I think they're going to wake them. <laughs> Yeah, so right here we have a line. We have several lines of the cliff. So let's get this one in here. And this is just how it cliffs, slopes, it, we'll call it another cliff, and then it slopes down again. That's the direction that we get the Grand Canyon from the water and the um, wind breaking it down. So we got to get those in in the direction that we're going. So get, I'm just using the tip. I might rotate my pen slightly back and forth like this. The main thing is getting, just tapping in and sliding down. Now I'm a little bit more of that pen, of the tip, as in more flat, so I can get more of a wide area that I can always go back and readjust. Let's see here. Some of it we go across because this is erosion of the rock, so we need to get some of the across. Has anybody played with the emoji yet? Yay! <laughs> yes. I, I, I shall play because I haven't got to see it. How is it going to work? There we go. <laughs> and he got Bernadette. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Well, actually, you got four. And since we now have three members, we will get one more. Oh. All right. Yeah, we get five. I needed two members to get five. So I shall be more. The sillier, the better. So right here, I'm trying to figure out what I did. I actually went... I made a almost like a steeple, but it's not that. So what we're gonna do is bring that down because that is not pointy right there. It's just part of the cliff face that is a little um, more angular. So I'm gonna change that line just so I don't go up. Why do I feel like you're doing something behind me? I just changing hats. Oh. Get hot. Yeah. Yep. So just dragging down using not only the tip, but kind of angled down. See, now I'm going to hit the camera. Let me move it over a little bit. So now we also have to pay attention to how the light is hitting this. And what I mean is, well, there's less light that's being bounced off from the cliff to the camera. It's going to be darker. And where there's both the lighter rock and more of the light bouncing from the camera, from the cliff to the camera, it's going to be lighter. So right here, we have more light. But right here, it kind of turns. So we have to pay attention to all of this. So this part is going to be darker. And then just using kind of the angle. And here, here's the beauty of it. You don't have to be precise. Zigzags and uneven strokes are actually going to help make this look more realistic. Mm. So we actually have less stress with this piece 
because the main thing we're looking at for this one is perspective and contrast. If you, let's see here, like if I get this stroke a little off, nobody is going to know it. Not even you guys will really see it because it's going to blend in. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to pick this one besides for the light. If you think you screwed up, you pretty much have it. You just keep going and working the piece. And that's important. Give yourself a break. Because I know it's a lot. And it feels overwhelming. I know um, Stephen was like, nope, nope, he's not doing this one. Because he felt overwhelmed with it. And I can see why it would be overwhelming. But really, we're just looking at shapes and there are a lot of abstract shapes. That's like the main thing. And that's going to actually make it easier. Mm. You're not trying to make sense of what you're seeing. You're just putting strokes down that give you the illusion. As long as we have the right direction, the strokes do not matter. It really doesn't. That's going to help out a lot. Like right here, we know this is darker. So I can bring that in. And I don't know how much of this I'll get done tonight. Probably none, to be honest. But just being honest. And tomorrow we'll start on these closer clips right here. That way you can see how perspective really makes it makes or breaks a piece so right here I'm just tapping and dragging down a little bit because we do have kind of because when the water erodes the dirt it makes the the ravines so we not ravines but um what would be the right word for it not ravines but they're just where eroded areas that are not flat. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Can't think. Let's see here. Now we got different directions. So where it goes in, it'll be darker, and where it comes out, it'll be lighter. Well, Andrea says she stresses herself out with the large pictures as she begins again on a smaller scale. If that makes you feel comfortable, um, actually, to me. Um, a smaller one is actually, unless you're taking pieces, like if you took just a piece of this rock and a piece of the water and a piece of, of the slope and practice those, then I, you know, I can definitely see that helping, but smaller pieces are harder. Jenny says, so you're actually helping yourself. Jenny says this will help with the dragon background as well. Yep, this will help with the dragon background. I think we actually met, we, we talked about that, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I was trying to get things that would um, kind of blend in to the next. Let's see here, we can get rid of this line. I don't need it. And this is the Baltic birch from um, Trakel. There we go, and I use my regular walnut hollow transfer paper this one and in fact for for some of this what we could do is we could do actually the circular strokes just going in the direction just using the tip to build up some of the light or the dark I'm sorry if that is easier for you there you go See right here, we got a dark. So let's use just the tip. Slow down a little bit. Ah, camera. The camera makes my face itch when I bump it. So we're just gonna use the angle, the edge, slow down our stroke. That's all we had to do. We don't have to sit here and constantly adjust. Just having some control. But what this is showing me is I also am going to have to go darker in places. Like right here, it looks like there's an actual, probably a cloud that's casting a shadow right here. That's what it looks like. So let's get... It could be Godzilla. 
Could be Godzilla. Yeah, I guess. I'm not gonna commit to that. <laughs> You're not gonna commit to Godzilla? No. So see, dragging down in the direction of this slope. Where am I at? This one actually keeps going down. So let's drag it down. And it looks messy right now. And you know what? For a landscape, totally fine. Embrace the mess. I, you know, every all of them always are ugly until they're not. But specifically with this, with the landscape, it might make it a little easier for your brain. And remember to step back from your piece and look at it. Because then you're putting all of the information that you have burned into one area versus just focusing on a tiny area and it'll look different. And taking pictures as you go always helps. That's why you'll see me stop during the live and look up and go, ah, it looks different on camera. Let's see here. Every art has a stage that you're not happy with. Yes. I am currently in that in the art that I'm working on. Are you? Mm -hmm. But I know. I'm just working through it. This too will pass. Yeah, it has to. All right. It'll either pass or I'll burn it. No, you never do that. <laughs> So let's get some of the darks in here. But we do have some darks, so we need to make sure we keep them. Let's see, why am I off? Let's see here. This is here. I'm like totally off. How am I off? This comes this way. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're back. Did we go someplace? My brain did. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where I was here. You see, I just want to show how much different the camera is going to be in my face. So you guys are seeing it up front, but then when I do this, hopefully you can still see. It just looks like we've got some crevices and cracks. Yeah. It doesn't look like, and if somebody's looking at it up close, let me see here. They're going to be looking at it about here. And so I need to take all that into consideration as I go. Because mm -hmm. that's about, let's see here, actually, yeah, that's about as close as somebody's going to get looking at your art unless they've bought it and they're holding it. So we don't have to worry about that. Alrighty. Yeah, I can just keep my, bumping my face on it. So it's just, this is truly just, and it's going to be the same for here, only we're going to, as we move closer in, our most detail is going to be over here along the bottom. And our second amount of detail is going to be here. And as we move in, we get less and less detail. You know, what's interesting to me is that this almost looks like a classic perspective. Um, diagram because it's divided equally into four mm -hmm. pieces they're just wavy instead of having the distinct straight lines to the vanishing points oh you're talking this yeah they're just wavy yeah. so and that's why I wanted to pick this one because I thought it did it had a beautiful beautiful perspective to it that we could that would lend itself to burning it does in good practice and so I'm just dragging quickly across. I'm not going to stress on any of the details right now. Just want to make sure I follow the correct direction. <laughs> what? Beryl says, ha, if I get a piece of your art, I'm going to go over it with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> because that's, that's how my that's brain... That's all you have to say. <laughs> no, that's how my Don't. brain thinks when somebody <laughs> looks at my work is exactly that. Yeah. She does. Is I yes, that's part of being a perfectionist. I, I have a much much more lax attitude with that, I suppose. Yes, don't, because it's not going to be perfect. It's 
never perfect. I'm like, man, eh, it'll be all right. <laughs> so I'm just trying to find. Let's see here. Like right here is a good one, I think. Yeah. There's cliffs that are separating. So like where the slope is, that's one cliff. And then we've got another cliff. And then we got another cliff. So this area right here is going to be our furthest from the camera. Right now I'm just doing ovals. I think the core to the camera like lightly rubs my lips and it makes it icky. Alright, so we do have it looks like the canyon does have trees at the top. So I'm just going to tap drag very quickly different sizes. I try not to make a straight line out of that. Alrighty. This can go a little darker. One thing that's deceptive about the Grand Canyon is like, you know, you're talking about trees and I think so massive. Mm -hmm. I, when we went to see it, I was, um, because you can see across to the other side. Well, kind of. It, but it's such a long distance across that it doesn't seem yeah. like it. So. Yeah. And it's a desert down here and a forest up top. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. So let's, I'm trying to stay focused on here. I've really been bouncing it around, and so I'm trying to stay focused for you guys. So we can do some ovals here because we don't have any real defined lines. So it's kind of ovals and dragging down at the same time, up and down, up and down. Um. I figured that since we had technical difficulties, you'd probably want to go a little bit. I want to give them time. Yeah. Plus, I want to discuss what the memberships are. And I'm going to actually make a, a dedicated video to it. Okay, because we're at 6.30. Mm -hmm. I owe them some time, though. We canceled last Monday and then has issues today. I owe you guys some time. Do we have any questions as we go? Because that'll help me. And Jenny says perfection is overrated. Yeah. Ashley has to watch her mouth, wash her mouth out. <laughs> but it doesn't strive us from stop us from striving for it. I, I think sometimes that and you know accuracy is different than perfection because you can have your proportions correct, but sometimes it's really pleasant to have a little variation from the actual reference and like well, it depends on what you're going for so it, so. there's a definite there's a, a separation from accuracy and perfection you can be accurate but you don't necessarily have to be perfect and you can still come up with something really beautiful and sometimes perfection is well, it helps uh, you not, improve. Not, not artistically what you might be going for. Oh no. No no. And that's totally okay. Totally Unless okay. it's you. <laughs> so we do have some bushes. We're just gonna tap. Careful. Just tap. They're dry you don't want to start them. You yeah, want to catch them on fire. It's already that time of year. Yeah. And see when we put this darker line in is really gonna help balance this out more. Burrell says, practically perfect Mary Poppins. Oh, I'm no Mary Poppins. She's talking to me. Oh, he's no Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. I could, I could get an umbrella. <laughs> Some of the... Well, hello! Excuse it. Cooking stuff. Don't help him. Don't help him. We can sing about making making chili. You never sing. Beans and rice. Potatoes. Potatoes. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, 
remember on some of this uh, smaller gravel, the beach uh, where you don't see definition, your ballpoint uh, tip and a bunch of circles is definitely going to help you fill in the area faster, give you that definition, that that feel of um, of texture without feeling like you have to put every little thing in because on this you don't have to put everything in. In fact, I would recommend you don't put every single thing in, which is why I didn't transfer all my lines. In fact, you've got the pattern behind you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just wanted to show the difference between this area right here. Okay, it's too complex for me. Well, and that's what I want to show them. You can see how much I drew in the pattern versus how much I actually transferred. There we go. There we go. I'm going to pop off. That looks like... There we go. So there's a lot more. You can tell the information that I didn't transfer. That looks like a page for the coloring book, from the coloring book for the insane. I know. <laughs> and I gave them this in the group. We'll see who all. See right there, you can't, some of the burning you can see through. But I did not transfer every single line. Thank you, Burl. Oh, thank you, Burl. Look, oh, you got a, you got a special, special sticker, too. There we go. So hopefully that'll help. And then I'll just keep going through and erasing the graphite where I've already got something because I don't need to keep it. And it also help you see that your board is cleaner than you thought. Hmm. Well, the burning is cleaner than you thought. The graphite dirties up the burn. Oh. So I'll do this. And then I am going to quickly discuss the membership. So for those who haven't clicked on the little join button by the subscribe button, um, totally fine. The lives are not going to change. This is just offering more to those who want more. And these are currently the different uh, gifts at the top that are available for the chat. You saw, saw uh, Jenny and I don't know if Burl did it or not. Uh, different. Well, they had emojis, but emojis. Their, their emojis. I have a question about that because their emojis, I've never seen them used before, and okay. I want to make sure, like, look at the emojis that she used. These are just down here. Oh, oh, okay. So they're not. There's not a problem though. No, so, okay. no, no. Okay. Mine are the ones on the top. Okay. And I'll be switching those out. And then the one. When you have a Jason head, that just means you're new for the first month of membership. And then the next month... A hubcap I'm, head. A hubcap head, yes. Who is this Jason you speak of? <laughs> that's a hubcap head. <laughs> um, it should have just been a hubcap. It should have. Oh, yeah, I guess it should have been, but I didn't. I didn't think about that until I just didn't. now, so I yeah. can't act all smart about it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Right, I'm going to move this camera now because it's in my face. All right. But there's different levels. So the first month, everybody's going to have a hubcap head. And then it'll move on to the second month, which will be a Bernadette. And then uh, two months is a Bernadette with a flame. I'm going to change those out because I want something more fun. So we're going to change those out. Now, there's different levels to membership. The first one is $4.99 a month at Google automatically charges you for it when you sign up and I'm trying to remember what all everything is allowed where's the joy there it is I'm sorry you well this will tell you so if you click the joy button it'll tell you the different levels so we have ember and that's the 499 we have flame which is 999 and everything adds on top so you get the basic with the with ember with flame you get the basic and what i've added um for flame for 24.99 what did i do that one as um that's bernadette's inferno crew. That's, that's bernadette inferno's 
uh, crew, and I've included 30-minute um, critiques where I will film a critique of something you sent to me with your reference photos, and I will record it, and then I will send it to you so that you always have it, and that's going to be once a month. Um, what did I add to that one? We're, oh, there's a super special secret drawing with fire Facebook group. I've already set it up in the community post. You will see the link if you're $9.99 and above. This is someplace I'm going to spend more time in. And if I, if you get, if the membership you chose includes the uh, 45 minute a month one on one with me, that's where you'll you'll do it is in that group. So we, I've already got the group set up. Let's see here. What other stuff did we do? Producer credit on the big one. Mm -hmm. That's on uh, Bernadette's producers. That's the forty nine ninety nine a month. I honestly don't expect anybody to sign up for that. I really don't. Well, um, the reason why that well, you've been wanting this for a while. Yes. But oh, this is not just a, you know, this is. This is you spending more time yes. and, and quality. And like like we, she already said, it's not going to change what's already here. So if you're happy with what you've got, yeah, you don't then have to. you don't have to do anything. But It's just extra support. And actually, I think I just changed my mind on something. The nine ninety nine I uh, is where I started for the group. I'm actually all membership is going to be allowed into the special secret group. Okay. Yeah. All um, membership. So I'm going to change that for you guys. Okay. Um but yeah but it, but it does if, if you just do decide to join then it helps her step up um her production values and the, the well it just helps <laughs> i've already spent a lot of protection <laughs> yeah yeah but but it's more time more one-on-one -on -one time yeah with you and like i said i i'm gonna change the um bro's wanting to know what's in your head what she wants to know what's in your head. Oh, that's from the video. That's, that's from, from your what video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's from the... Um... So, four ninety nine. dollars or if you're a member, period, um, and under the community post tab, either on your phone or your PC or Mac, um, there is a link for this special group. This link is unlisted. It is completely private, and nobody's allowed in unless they have a membership so that we can all be special together. And that's a hammer bro. I'm not it's even allowed. No, I don't have you listed as an admin. Yep. Because I haven't so thought about it. So if you're looking for a hub, <laughs> hubcap free zone, there you go. I think they love hubcap. You don't, I, like I said, nothing on the channel is going to change. Um, with membership, even the most basic, you'll get 20 in the community post. If you remember, always check the community post because that's where I'll be putting everything, including if I'm doing something special as in my secret special that's not coming out until the fall, I am going to let you guys know first. So I will post that in the community post for you guys, so you guys will know. Hush, hush. Um, and everybody else will just have to wait till it's time to announce. Secret squirrel. <laughs> Do I have to add a squirrel now? Hmm? Do I have to add a squirrel? Secret no, squirrel. That's not an army term. Is it? Well, it's not exclusively army. Well, then I. Don't know. But if you're doing a covert op, you can't talk about it. It's like, why can't you talk about it? Secret squirrel. <laughs> um, well, oh. it's that secret. <laughs> you can only find the group if you look in the community post. It will not be included in chat. Yes, you can tell Jason's stories in group. Oh, my oh yes, God. I can. Yes, I can. Because he's not in it. Okay, I didn't realize this was going to go that direction. Burl did it. Burl did it, not me. Whatever, Burl. <laughs> Still like my coaster. I know. So that way, I need to pull back on how many messages I get just through um, Facebook Messenger. Because uh, I spend a lot of time. And that takes away from other things that I want to do. Um... This is true. And I have to realize my time is valuable like everybody else's. Yep. I don't want to overcharge. And I wanted to make sure I gave as much to you guys as possible. That was special. That goes beyond what I already do. <laughs> so.
so you can change your membership at any time and i'm gonna love you guys whether you're members or not that's true <laughs> yeah oh, i'm gonna love them anyway so do we have any questions yeah just click the join and i'll explain everything i'm also gonna do Wait, a is this gonna be video. a gang up on hubcap group is that what this is becoming you can tell me why don't you say anything Hello, God. Yeah. My life. Still waiting for the portrait burn, Jason. <sighs> An actual burn. They want you to. Oh. Look at my hand. Look at it. I can't do it. <laughs> you wait. You can do it. <laughs> so make sure you join the group. In fact, I will add Andrea, Burl, and Jenny as soon as I know their members. And really special. <laughs> right next to a picture Thanks. of you hit yourself with a hammer. <laughs> oh, You're enjoying this way I didn't plan much. that, but that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm gonna make your dinner special tonight. You always make my dinner special. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll make sure to add the you guys in the group. The cooked all the way through. <gasps> We don't have any can't other questions. No, you can't. Okay. If you don't have any other questions, tomorrow we are going to put in, I think, this dark wall slope, this line. That way we can see more. Uh, let's see here. What else? Oh, I did want to pop out so they could see how much. Thanks, Spence. What? He says we don't do it because we care. Yeah. Pop them guys off. Alrighty. So now you can see, this is a big piece. Woo! Why would not? It's pretty big. It's a 14. I'm not sure why it's not. Focus. There we go. The girl says if she could do it, so can you. <laughs> Video game controller hand is no excuse. Very special. It's I'll tell my story about my crushed hand on the in the members thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. In ten dollar nine ninety nine or above, two extra lives. Forgot about that. And we can go as long as we want yeah. because it's just gonna be us as members doing that live, so um, you guys will have a say in how long the lives are and how much time we spend together. So that's the nine ninety nine one. Just look, click join, and it won't sign you up automatically. You have to okay everything, but it'll show you what everything is. All righty. Thank you so much, Burl, Ginny, Andrea, our first. But Andrea is our number one. Number one. Ember, our first one. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. I don't, did I? Yeah, I did. All right. <laughs> Don't forget to like, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. We're gonna finish up the Grand Canyon and oh, the nine nine the flames get to start telling us what kind of stuff we're doing. They get the poles first. Oh, that's right. They get the poles first. Yep. So when we get some flames, they're gonna dictate what we do. All righty. <laughs> Talk to you later. Talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep. Happy burning, wait, guys. Wait, wait, you didn't tell them something. Oh, I am so sorry. Did my job. I am yes. so sorry. I did two things this stream. You did. Don't forget. <laughs> You're awesome. You can do this. You're a pyro artist. Happy burning, guys. Dab. Andrea had us dabbing. I did it for her. <laughs> you did it for her. Aw. How sweet.